Hey, you mushroom nerds, it's Anna McHugh. I am looking at a very small but really beautiful member of the Amanita genus. This is a mushroom that is called yellow patches, uh, commonly, and the scientific name is Amanita flaviconia. And I'm picking it up so that I can show you, but it is a dainty little mushroom. Uh, you know, you have a lot of Amanita mushrooms that have, you know, really large fruiting bodies and uh, also a lot of them that are warty are quite, uh, you know, have a lot of stature and a lot more uh, sort of robustness in their stems and overall um, sort of manifestation. Anyway, the thing that makes this mushroom uh, get its common name uh, yellow patches is this remnant of what's called universal veil tissue that sticks to especially the slightly enlarged base of this mushroom but you can also see and this is not always present but on my specimen it is uh, some flakiness of wartiness on the cap as well now the thing that's really important to note is that uh, you know the uh, material is kind of powdery and it is very ephemeral so you have to be really cautious when you gather it so um this mushroom is not you know something that people consider to be edible uh it is just a gorgeous little thing i also love the fact that it has this elaborate partial veil or ring on the stem it's very skirt like and really beautiful white gills um, you look alike, you have a few other species of uh, Amanita mushrooms in the summertime that have some of these really beautiful sort of sunny colors. So uh, Amanita parsivalvata is one of my very favorites. Uh, so, you know, there are a lot of Amanitas that are very, very colorful that are not the sort of traditional desirable Amanita muscaria type or, uh, you know, similar sorts of mushrooms. And I'm going to show you a picture that I drew actually of uh, a muscaroid mushroom. So this is Amanita muscaria var gesuai. And uh, that is sort of a reddish yellow Amanita that lives in my part of the southeastern U.S. Uh, and so, you know, you have a lot of these different mushrooms that have the wartiness. But in the case of yellow patches, you can tell it has uh, warts that are very distinctively matching this uh, little uh, material at the base. So that's all I've got to say about this one. Uh, I think I will briefly also qualify that Amanita muscaria var gesuai is uh, a contested name. Also, this image that I drew of it was for a Burning Man camp, and I boosted the red a little bit. So if you were to find this in the wild in the southeastern U.S. or in the Appalachian Mountains, it would probably be a good bit more yellow, but certainly much larger and not quite as yellow and certainly not with yellow patches like our Amanita flaviconia. Yeah, have a good one. I hope you find a billion mushrooms. Let's talk again soon.